France's new submarine will be even quieter than the ocean. The French Navy's new strategic submarine, SNLE-3G, is one of a new breed of Western ballistic missile submarines. Together with the U.S. Navy's Columbia class and the Royal Navy's dreadnought, it will be particularly stealthy. Its noise levels will be lower than the surrounding ocean making it very hard to detect. Combined with a host of new technologies this should ensure its survivability against future threats. Submarines thrive on stealth, especially those carry a country's nuclear deterrence. They do not want to be heard and tracked using sonar, which is why modern nuclear submarines are built to be extremely quiet. But as adversaries get ever better at detecting them, newer submarines have to be even quieter. In an exclusive interview with Naval News, the French Navy, Marine Nationale, officer in charge of the program explained that, together with a massive leap in its own sonar and non-acoustic sensors, this should maintain survivability against future foes. This is key because they are expected to serve from 2035 until the latter part of the century, the officer explained. Full-scale development of the new submarine, known as SNLE-3G, Suzmarin Nuclear Lancer Dengens, third generation, was launched by the French Minister for the Armed Forces, Florence Parley, on February the 19th, the new class, which has not yet received a ship name, will replace the current La Triumphant class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines, SSBN. Like the current boats, the new submarines will be built by Naval Group. At first glance the new submarine is similar in size and form to the current La Triumphant class, but it is an entirely new design, and is actually almost 10 meters, 30 feet, longer. The main driver for this increased size is stealth. The machinery space will be longer to incorporate an even quieter machinery. This may have some technologies already found on France's latest nuclear submarine, the Suffren class attack submarine. Outwardly these include the X-form rudders and pumpjet propulsor, but between the two upper rudders is a difference from the Suffren. A small fin contains a next-generation towed sonar array known as a LRO. This will use optical technology. While this array may in itself be a capability leap, the most important aspect is that it is part of a holistic sensor suite known as Alicia. Thales Alicia, Analyse, Localization, Identification, Classification Integrees at Alerts, combines a wide range of sensors into the SICOBS 3.0 data processing system. These include large new flank array sonars and a new bow sonar. The exact technology in the bow sonar has not been reported, but Naval News believes that it will have moved beyond traditional cylindrical arrays. Alicia will be capable of ultra-low frequency, OLF, detection meaning that even the quietest adversaries may be tracked and identified. The challenge will be processing the massive amounts of data gathered by the new sensors. The data is expected to be in order of magnitude more than on current boats. The SNLE-3G program officer told us. However, artificial intelligence will help the crew identify contacts, greatly aiding their work. This will help with both technical and tactical classification. The latter can be based on intelligence, which usually leads to a decision from the submarine commander. Other updates include an upgraded reactor based on the proven K-15 family. This will have improved safety features to keep pace with expected standards and more power. Naturally the crew will be mixed gender. Because the submarine is being designed from outset for mixed crews, the additional hygiene facilities can be designed in. This is much cheaper and better than the modernizations which can be required on legacy subs. Last but not least, asked to comment on the main differences between La Triumphant class and S and LE 3G. The program officer told Naval News, one important factor in designing S and LE 3G is the heritage. We take possession of the best of what our elders did. We modernize it and digitize it. S and LE 3G main difference will be its unique processing power and an incremental combat system which will be future-proof and batch upgradable throughout the life of the submarine. Each new batch will learn from the previous batches. This is SICOVS 3.0, the future combat management system of SNLG 3G, under development by Naval Group. S and LE 3G is being designed to face and survive the future threats likely to emerge after 2035.